Hello and welcome to the next part in a series of tutorials where I will be showing you how to create your very own PowerPoint presentation using Python. In this part, I will be showing you how to create graphs. And by the end of this part, you should have something that looks a bit like this, where we've created a new slide with the title graphs. And in here, we have a bar chart that has been edited. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do, like we've done in previous parts, is to create our slide and put a title in it. And we've done that with other parts, you know, part the previous part, part three, and then part two as well, we also did it. So let's just increase our familiarity with this process uh, and I'll talk you through it again. So if we type in PR1, which is our presentation here, if you go to the top, PR1 refers to our entire presentation. So if we type in pr1.slide underscore layout and specify a type of layout, we can equate that to the variable slide five register. And what that will do is that will create a slide or register the layout of a slide uh, within our PowerPoint presentation. But the next thing we need to do then is add that actual slide layout to our presentation by typing in pr1, which refers to our presentation, dot slides dot add underscore slide then we type in slide five underscore register the variable we created above we've now got a slide that has been added to our presentation with a specified layout and we've given that the name slide five so now slide five has been created we just need to specify a title similar to what we've done in previous part by typing in slide five which refers to a slide that we've just created dot shapes dot title and equate that to title five and then we can specify some text within that title um, by typing in title five dot text equals and then graphs in quotation marks now i went through that a bit quickly because we've done that in previous parts as well so i'm just moving a bit quicker to make you a bit more familiar with it um, but hopefully you should be aware of roughly what's going on and so if we go to the bottom we can type in pr1.save and we can give it a new name, this time Analyst Rising PPT Tutorial Part 4 rather than Part 3 dot pptx in quotation marks. We can now see an updated version of this PowerPoint presentation if we then run it. So if I run it and then I'll need to go to the appropriate file location here, Analyst Rising PPT Tutorial Part 4 we see here that we've created an extra slide called graphs. Cool, so now we need to add the actual graph itself. This time it's a bar chart. Before we actually go about writing any code, we're gonna need to import a few extra things in order to be able to um, add our charts and also edit it as well. So if we type in there's a few imports going on here. So we start with the top one, the first one, which is from pptx.chart.data, import, and then together is category chart data. And this will enable us to specify uh, a chart or a graph that we can put into our PowerPoint presentation. Another thing we'll need to import is from pptx.enum.chart import excel underscore chart underscore type this will enable us to specify a chart type so in this case we're going to specify a column clustered but you can also specify different chart types um, all that is available within powerpoint at the moment you know line graphs bar charts different types of bar charts stacks and so on and that will happen with this excel chart type Another thing you need to import is from pptx.enum.chart, import excel underscore tick underscore mark, and also from pptx.util, import pt. Now these bottom two imports will enable us to edit the chart that we've created. 
and lay it out to how we want it to be presented and how we want it to look. So after we've imported all of those four imports, we can now go back down and start to create our graph. So the first thing we want to do is put in some information. So we're going to get some graph info sorted. So if we type in category chart data, calling our first import that we did above, and we equate that to the variable graph underscore info, we now have uh, an area where we can put our information into. We've some data we can put the inf our graph info into. So the first thing we're going to do is because it's a bar chart we've created, we're going to specify some bars. So in this case, we type in graph underscore info, calling our category chart data, dot categories, and then equals, and then in square brackets, I've just put A, B, and C in quotation marks. And these are going to be three individual categories in this case, but to you and me, there'll be three individual bars. And these will be the names as well. So A, B, and C will appear at the bottom in the on the x-axis, naming each of these bars. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some information. So if you type in graph underscore info dot add series, add underscore series, then in brackets we can specify a name. And this time it's series one in quotation marks. Then we can press comma and open up a second set of brackets and specify some values. Now these will have to be three because the categories we've created are three categories. So in this case, A will be 15, B will be 11, and C will be 18. And this is the information that we've created. However, you won't see anything on the slide. It will still be blank because what we've done is we've simply created some information that will fit into a category chart or a chart but we haven't actually created the chart itself. So you won't see anything when you run it. Which leads us to the next part, which is to then add the graph to the slide and position it however we want. So the next thing we can do is we can specify uh, positioning by typing in um, left underscore graph, which will position it from the left using inches, which we did in our previous part to position pictures and shapes. And we can also specify the from the top to our top graph using equals inches and specifying a value, the width underscore graph and the height underscore graph. Again, all using the inches command that we used in the previous parts and using different values. We can chop and change these values however we want it to look, however we want it to look. Okay, cool. So now we've specified positioning, we can now add our slide and our shapes together in order and our information together in order to come up with um, a graph which you can see in our PowerPoint presentation. So if we type in slide five dot shapes dot add chart and then in brackets we type in Excel chart type calling another import that we've created and this time we type in dot column clustered which will specify a bar chart for us. And if we type in comma, left graph, top graph, width graph, and height graph, these four points will specify the positioning. So now we've got our type of graph that we created and our positioning. And then the final thing we need to do is add the info into there. And this line really does link everything together. So now if we run it, we will be able to see Oh, hang on. Oh, I see it because it, I have left it open. So if we close it, go out of that code, we can now run it again. So let's now run it. And now we can open part four again. You can see here that we have this graph here. So this is the standard type of graph with no editing that has been done to it. So let us now edit it to make it look like we have it in part five with the A, B and C italicized and then we have our sort of grid lines added as well. So let's do that. So let's get rid of that and get rid of that. And let's go back to Visual Studio and do some editing. So what we're gonna need to do now is put this graph that we've created and turn it 
and equate that to a variable so then we can use that variable to edit the graph how we want it to. So if I just hash this one out, below that I've equated all that line above which I've just hashed out to graph one underscore frame. So the next thing we can do is type in graph one underscore frame dot chart, which is to chart this graph equals graph one. And now with this graph one variable, we can now use our other imports to edit this graph. So if we type in graph one dot category underscore axis equals category underscore axis, we can now edit these axes, for example, to have major grid lines. So if you type in category underscore axis dot has underscore major underscore grid lines equals true, that will add major grid lines to this axis. We can also do a few other things by adding minor tick marks by typing in category underscore axis dot minor tick mark equals Excel tick mark dot outside. So these tick marks will be on the outside. Another thing we can do is specify tick labels, specify their font to be italic by typing in category axis dot tick underscore labels dot font dot italic equals true. So true will make the A, B and C be italicized. And then also finally, let's specify a font for this. So if you type in category underscore axis dot tick underscore labels dot font dot size equals PT, which is our final import that we did above. And then in brackets, type in 24. And that PT will change the font to be 24. So that's the graph edited now. So if we can now run it, you will have our final output. Press any key to continue. Let's see our final output. So this is what we have. We have our new slide created with graphs as a title. We've created a bar chart and we've managed to edit the bar chart as well. So that is it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add data, how to add a table of data. So feel free to join me then and please do subscribe to the channel and please do let other people know about the channel, especially if you feel they may benefit from it. Thanks very much for watching.